Hey, what's going on everybody? 915 Mang here hanging out with you guys today. Just enjoying a little cruise out here on the ocean. I uh, went to go check out some whales, whale watching in uh, San Diego, California, and it was uh, pretty cool. Um, we didn't see any whales, but we did see some dolphins here in the video, and uh, I wanted to go ahead and, uh, and show you in this little clip um, some dolphins. But since we're talking about this, I did go ahead and place an order. I ordered myself an additional MP40, and uh, I'm going to be using that in my reef tank. Um, you know, flow is such an important factor in uh, reef keeping, and uh, the more flow, the better. I, I do have a lot of uh, zoanthid, zoa, soft coral, a little bit of LPS. But I want to step up my game on SPS coral, uh, acros, and try to get some of those crazy colors like you guys uh, have. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Um, the waves out there were, were pretty big. The boat was lifting five, six feet uh, up and down. But it was it was pretty cool. Um, I do got to say, after the ride, I... I still felt like uh, I was on a boat rocking back and forth, but it was a lot of fun. So go ahead and kick back, watch this video, and then uh, we'll get to the equipment. The family of dolphins was so cool. Um, it was about at least at least eight dolphins swimming back, for, forth, front, side. Um, so it was really, really cool being able to experience that kind of jelly about all you guys living out there on the ocean and uh, if you haven't gotten to see something like this highly suggest you guys go out there and do it one of the cool things about the trip although we didn't see any whales the uh, company did give us some more additional tickets um, as a rain check and we can when we go back to San Diego we can go ahead and do it again so most definitely We'll be doing it again. Also, maybe next time when I hit up uh, the West Coast, maybe I'll be able to meet some of you reefers out there that are local to San Diego. And uh, maybe we can record some uh, video and maybe I can uh, get some frags or something like that. But this was a lot of fun out here in California. So I did go ahead and place an order. I got the MP40. I got some uh, Red Sea, A, B, C, D, and uh, some other stuff from Red Sea that I'm going to go ahead and try out with my tank. And uh, let's see how it goes. Hopefully it improves colors or anything like that. Of course, um, I've been watching a lot of videos and I'm going to implement this into my tank really slowly. I'm um, to kind of see how it goes i'm not trying to really change a lot of stuff but i do think my tank uh, can benefit from this uh, the additional flow the uh, mp40 i now have four mp40s onto my tank two on the side two on each side left and right so hopefully it's really nice and it improves um, some flow in my reef tank take a look at the new mp40 it's on the left side of my tank i secured it to my light rails with a good old zip tie i'm hoping that it adds more flow and helps the sps corals these little sticks right here um, i did have uh, a little bit of damage because the mp40 was blasting the skin off of one of these um, sps you can see there there's still a little bit of green on it but it did uh, blow the flesh off so I moved the uh, pump up a little bit higher and uh, so hopefully I don't have uh, any more die off on this coral and it can come back plus the more flow you have in a reef tank the better your corals are going to do all the detritus and things like that hanging out on the bottom of the tank will be suspended 
and eventually hit your filter sock, uh, your filter roller mat or whatever. So you can see right here on the bottom that I do have like some dead dead zones, but it is starting to rock back and forth. So hopefully the flow Im improves the uh, health of my corals. And speaking of corals, I did end up placing an online order with Sunnyside Corals. I picked up a few SPS and Zoas. They're based out of uh, Utah and I follow them on the Instagram. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I picked up for my reef tank, which is part of the reason that I added um, some more flow because I want to get into the SPS game. My other tank, which was the same tank, yeah, it just broke down. Uh, was doing really good. I was having some nice growth on the other corals. Um, but since I moved and everything, things kind of died off, anticipating the weight of the move. So I'm slowly but surely getting back into the SPS game. And I'm going to show you what I picked up from them. This was my first time ordering from them. You can look them up online. Like I said, they're Sunnyside Corals. And I uh, picked up, a, up a, a few pieces. Um, one of the things that I will say is I like the size of the frags. Um, they weren't little. Um, so hopefully they do good in my tank and I can have, add a little bit of more color. Um, because, you know, color is what I'm into, the corals. My fish tank itself, I don't have too many fish at all. I just have a couple of tanks and a, a few small fish. But it's all about the corals for me and my uh, reef tank. So I'm going to show you what I picked up here. I picked up four sticks right there. They're looking pretty good. Uh, a few of them came in a little bit pale, the front two. Hopefully they color up. The ones on the left are really nice. The camera's not really picking them up too good, but hopefully um, they glow really nice. I picked up some Bam Bams, some Twizzlers, and some uh, Firework Clothes. I'm gonna go ahead and mount everything in my tank. Of course, I did the dip and everything, and hopefully everything looks comes out good. I really do like the way everything is growing, and I do have lots of room still, even though my tank is uh, jam-packed. I'm also showing you a top-down view of the tank um, because we're going to look at some of the SPS corals that I had in my other tank before the tank breakdown that are slowly coming back to life. Um, they're... They are regrowing their tissue. This one was, I don't remember it, but it was pretty nice if it was mounted there. Um, and you can see there's still some color there. I haven't really done too much. You can also see the dead skeleton, but some of it is coming back. So I think it's a good time to add some more SPS. Same thing with these. SPS, uh, they were straight up awesome and fire the last time but they are recovering and growing back so that's a good sign and of course I have the pink bird's nest I had a whole bunch of that in my last tank and I kept a few pieces um, also lost a, a lot of that but it's growing back so that's the uh, Jason Fox flaming banana right there in the background and uh, everything still has like a little bit of Atasia but it is being taken care of by the nudibranch Bergia slugs, they are working, and I'll give you an update video for that later on. But I think since everything is coming back and doing okay, um, hasn't really died off, I think it's a good time to add some more SPS. I'm sure a lot of people would agree, it's always a good time to add coral to your reef tank. As far as tank maintenance goes, I've been doing 20 gallon water changes. Um, 20 gallon water changes every month and a half. I'm dosing two-part alkalin alkalinity and then the uh, calcium uh, seems to be working for me. I stay around 7 point something close to the low 7s as far as alkalinity. And uh, it seems to be working for me. I'm going to be doing uh, calc washer in my auto top off. Again, i watch been watching some videos. Uh, so hopefully that helps out too. But I want to show you this coral right here. This one was like just a tiny tip of it was alive right there on the very tip. And it has started branching out, growing over the dead skeleton, and it's doing really good. So that piece right there, um, I got it from eBay. 
green slimer I've had. It's uh, OG and my reef tank. I got some new uh, different SPS from eBay. And I will probably order from them again. These are just the regular clothes, the yellow ones. But I got some uh, more of the firework clothes. I really like the orange in them. And everything else is doing good. I got my Ghani doing good and some more um sps right here i don't i forgot the name of them i just like the uh, colors this piece right here is the one that got hit and damaged by the mp40 uh, it was getting too much flow so the skin was ripping off and then of course i got some good big monster size aptasia growing in my tank but it is starting to slowly disappear my cleanup crew is knocking them out and eating them so i was going to order some more of the nudibranch burgias but i'm just going to hold off on that this piece right here i got as a small frag it is so blue and i picked it up from my man uh, 67 mustang aka mr budman and uh or Corey dale from uh instagram he's like a sps master and i got that piece from him so i don't know what you guys are doing inside you guys need to go outside and enjoy the day, the weather. This is some video that I took chilling in San Diego on our way back. And it was such a good time and uh, it was a lot of fun. I hope you guys have a uh, nice weather so you guys can go outside and relax. You guys take it easy and we'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and support this uh, channel. Thanks guys, have a good one.